Howdy folks, this is Manic Mark, your real fake outsider artist coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa, found somewheres in the jungles of the Midwest. And I'm coming to you today with a video while I wait for my meds to kick in. Yeah, this is, they're starting to work I think. Okay, um, I, I found a few records today, I'm going to pass those along. Uh, I got some drawings. It's going to be, it's going to be terrific fun. It's going to be terrific fun. I'm going to keep this short. That's right. Let's say I get carried away. I don't know. What's going to happen? I never plan anything. If you were, if you love me by Cynthia Shalat, the Three Sons. They're just Three Sons albums all over everywhere this week. And here's another one. Baxter's Best. Les Baxter on Capitol. Kempert. Kempert? And normally, I bought some of his albums only because the covers are kind of cool. I actually never listened to any of his albums. I've got a few. I'm getting around to it. Maybe I'll like it. Now, at half price books, okay, do you all have one of those close by? They have records. And it's very, very picked over normally. But once in a while, you go in. And a couple of times, I've hit a vein of gospel albums in there um, because everything good's been picked over. <laughs> And people leave these behind for Manic Mark. Okay, so, um, and I have a number of them already. Uh, the Bridges. The Bridges. I've got this one. Um, but they're minty fresh. It's just like there's no shelfware. They've been sitting in somebody's collection and they just all brought them in. They were a big Bridges fan. That's the Bridges Quartet. Of course, there are one, two, three, four, five, six people in the Bridges Quartet, as you can see. Um... And here they just left the quartet off. They got smart and said, no, they didn't. They put quartet on the back, but as you can see, it's six people. And there's their tour, tour bus. Don't have this one right there. I don't think I have that one. And in this one, there's one in the quartet. This time, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight people in the quartet. I've got this one too. Another jewel apparently came from the same collection. Um, and this is more like bluegrassy, okay? And the Altar Way Gospel Singers. Great cover, got this one too. It's Bermuda Day. And um, I was listening to this record. There's the cover. And um, we'll just start, we just, we're just playing Yellow Bird right now. I'm gonna play a little. Yellow Bird. In banana tree, yellow bird, you sit all alone like me. Did your lady friend leave her nest again? Make you look so sad, make you feel so bad. You can fly away. To the sky away You're much luckier than me Drawing, yellow bird There's the drawing I just put it up on the On the screen there for a minute Yellow bird in the nanner tree Yellow bird in a banana tree You're still listening to it And I thought, well, I'll just draw You know, a, a calypso player uh, Back in 1959 He's waiting on the island for the church to come in and he's singing Cordelia Brown, What Makes Your Hair So Red. Got to start playing that song now. Oh, Cordelia Brown, what makes your hair so red? Oh, Cordelia Brown, what makes your hair so red? You say you come out in the sunshine with nothing on your head. Oh, Cordelia Brown, what makes your hair so red? Um, so I'm drawing and you know, I'm just like, yeah, it's just happy music, but then I have to write on this thing like, welcome American women's, and then there's like a skull and there's a knife and it's just, it starts to, it immediately starts to get creepy. This is probably going to have to go under the retarded comics section of my website. Um, and so the next page is the, the tourists that get out of the plane, there's Cornelia Brown with the red hair. You say you come out in the sunshine with nothing on your head. Cornelia Brown, what makes your head so red? And um, 
she she's she she's like looks at Peter and she the the, the the calypso player and says oh you're one of them Negro oil can players well, he takes exception to that you know this is 1959 and there was a lot of this going around this woman comes from the East Coast she goes to the island and she she uses immediately uses a derogatory term oil can player he hates that so he's he's then there's the other thing that's going on. Um, he says, she's call him red because her hair's red. And he says, call me Peter because I have a big Peter. And I just couldn't help myself. I just... And then it's like this little creepy thing. May I steal, your, steal her jewels from her? And, 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 and eat your flesh. Well, in 1959, she probably just didn't get that. And he's laughing, and he's like, it's a funny thing. She doesn't really, it doesn't really. So we go on to the next page, and of course, he's taken, I have to back up, because what happens is, is now that uh, uh, Cornelia Red, as she's called, is, is away from her East Coast um, environment, from her family and the pressures they put on her, not to date. Calypso players. And she just goes crazy. She goes crazy in Bermuda, and she dates Big Peter. And and but he's he's still highly upset with the derogatory use of the word will camp player. He just goes crazy one night on the beach by the volcano, and he cannibalizes her. And that's what this page. That's what this page is all about right there. And 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 her. But she's she she forgives him. The, her angel, her, her soul is up in the air and she's looking down at the thing and she forgives her and here comes King Kong. He, King Kong comes into the thing while he's eating her, her flesh and stealing her jewels. That's right. And then the, the whole thing changes to Mr. Cannibal's Bermuda Vacation. In this page, Mr. Cannibal's Bermuda Vacation. That's right, Mr. Cannibal. Um, goes to Bermuda, and the people that meet him are like sort of like tourists that are there, and and they don't understand why he's dressed like he is. And he has a very small head, and he's holding a larger head. It's 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 a juxtaposition, it's a, con a very odd contrast that, that that no one on Bermuda in in the Triangle, you know, can uh, they don't really understand it. But because it is in the Triangle, everybody has to accept the strangest things on a day to day basis. And he's basically shrunk in the head of this other tourist husband, who's still walking without his head. And and it just gets it gets worse because what happens next on this page is that Bermuda's invaded by Somali pirates and egged on by vacationing Captain Kami, who's who's very very much sympathetic to the uh, Somali pirates' plight on the face of the planet, as long as they give him money. And, and they, they shoot the, the, the Mr. Campbell, the head, head hunter, and, and, but they were supposed to take him captive and then, and then try to get some money, so there's nothing now. They've got a, a, an over, oversized shrunken head, that's all they get off of him. And it's not worth anything, because it's too big to be a genuine shrunken head in a shrunken head collector's collection. And then if, you, if, if the story it, it just get any, it can possibly get any more fantastic, it turns into King Kong, Kong Island versus the invasion of the Pixies from space on this on these two pages. King Kong versus the invasion of the Pixies from space. And what the Pixies from space are are there? There are those post-war Japanese uh, a kitchen uh, 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 ceramic. Um, vessels that hold like jam and all this stuff and they made a whole bunch of them and, and they become irradiated in the, the post-war American um, atomic bomb tests like on Bikini and you know in the island area and they come alive and they come, and they come to attack King Kong on Kong Island and they have this big they have lasers and there's fire breathing and and there's 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 just a, a, a it's I have to stop now and go on. So there's probably, I don't think you need to listen to any more music, so that's it. I don't care, it's my videos. I may play a gospel tune after this, but I thank everybody for stopping by once again. And I, and I promise I'm just going to run out of steam and go away again for a while, but right now I'm just kind of wound up and the meds are kicking in. I'm feeling pretty good. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for stopping by. Let's come back again, folks.
Oh, I can't help myself. Christmas coming, what time? Christmas coming, ah oh, yes, Christmas coming. Gotta see it, child, we bring out the joke of you. Christmas coming, yeah, Christmas coming, Christmas coming. 